Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we started with table expressions as a replacement of read table and firstly I showed you read table, I explained read table based upon index, based upon key, then we covered the table expressions, we did the index we did the key. Now the most important part, whenever we use the table expressions, I have not checked for size sub RC at all. Suppose if I am going for reading a record which is on index 10, but there is no record in the internal table for index 10, then what will happen? Suppose if I will go for size sub RC, if after this table expression, I will use size sub RC equal to zero. It means if there is a record, it will display that record else nothing. Suppose I will check the syntax and I will activate. Most important part is I will remove this S by mistake. It's there. Size sub RC will not make any significance into table expressions. Suppose if I will put a breakpoint and I will show you in the debugging mode. Suppose I am going for input 1 to 5. Whenever you have read table, you use size sub RC. If size sub RC 0, you are simply displaying the result. Now we use size sub RC into table expressions. And now I will show you, is it making any sense or not? I will go to desktop 3. Now see, in this internal table, we have only 5 records. There is no record on the index 10. So if there is no record on the index 10, nothing will go to work area. If we have a read table, size sub RC will be other than 0 after that. Now if I will do F6. Have you seen system throw the runtime error itself? So size sub RC does not make any sense at all if you are checking or not checking. And it is clearly saying this line is not contained in the table. And in every interview maximum time, whenever they will ask the table expression, it is high probability they will ask this question. If you are using table expressions and the record is not in the table, how you handle that particular situation. So answer is not size sub RC. And whenever the record is not in the table, have you seen this exception raised? CX underscore SY underscore I tab line not found. So if I will read the theory also, while using table expression, if the entry does not exist, system simply throws this exception. If the record is not in the internal table and if you are using table expression, system will simply throw this exception. Now there is no significance of size sub RC at all. Now the question comes because customer hit the runtime error. Now whenever if the record is not there and system enters into the runtime error, so customer will say what is this? Yes. So if it's good that how we will go for the solution or how we will handle this particular situation. I will simply, simply go to the program. Now we will see how we will handle this particular situation. Very, very easy. We will check line exists or not. If line exists, after that only we will go for this particular table expression. Simple. Suppose if we want to read a record at index 10, at this point of time, system throw the runtime error because 10th number record is not in the internal table. So before doing this, so before writing this logic, write if there is a thing line underscore exists. This is the answer. If someone asks you how you handle that particular situation, you need to tell we used line underscore exist statement to check the existence of the record. Yes. 
So I will go for if line underscore exist. What is the name of the internal table? LT underscore data. And we want to read a record on which particular index? 10th index. If this particular, I will close the bracket also. If this if condition is true, only in that case, it will go for reading that 10th number record. I will remove this size of RC. I will go for and if. So if that 10th number line exists into this internal table, only in that case, this logic will execute else it will not execute. Suppose in the else part, I will simply write no records found. No matching records found. I believe we should never hard code, hard code. I will go for text simple. I will simply cut this. I will create this text symbol. Very important part, yes. And generally in any interview, if the questions are from table expression, they will ask. Because in table expression, size sub RC has no significance. If you go for size sub RC, if you are not going for size sub RC, system will go into runtime error. Then in that case, before that itself, you can simply, simply check if line exists. I will activate. Now I will show you in the debugging mode. I will put a breakpoint. Suppose I will give the input 1 to 5. I just put a else part so that I can show you, yes, how if and else are executing. You can understand this line exists how it is executing. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now this if condition, I'm doing F6. Now in this internal table, there's no record on 10th number index. So have you seen system entered into else part? And there's no runtime error because we are not directly, directly using that table expression. We are going for if condition and we are using line underscore exist. So we got no matching records found. Similarly is for key also. Suppose if I will go here, suppose here, suppose I'm going for VBELN2. You all know in this particular internal table, there is no sales document number two. It is nine zeros two. Now it will not find the matching record. If you will check for size sub RC also, there's no significance. If we will go for size sub RC equal to zero. If I will put end if. Now I will activate. I will explain in that debugging mode. I will just run. Suppose I will give the input one to five. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now this part done. Now I will directly come here F8. Now in this internal table, there is no record for sales document number two and we shall are, it is nine zeros two. Now you can see if I will do F6, you can see system throw the runtime error. This line is not contained and always same exception is raised. This is the exception which is given by SCP itself. Always this exception raised if we are not getting the matching entry. So how we will use? Simply, if you are going for checking, yes, always go for if line exists. That is the best way to avoid the runtime error. I'll just 
write the code. It just take me time. Okay, we don't. Now same to same port, I will write here also. Now there is no significance of this size sub RC. And if I will put it as it is. Now I will simply use a key here because now we are not going for index. So now I will use the key here. This is the most easiest way. I'll check the syntax and I will activate it. And I will go for else part also so that we can understand that this is for this. So we will got two messages, two write statements. If I will run, I will give the input one to five. You can see two times we got. So this is the way how you can avoid the runtime error in table expressions. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important concept, yes. In case of table expressions, size sub RC has no significance. If you check or not check, it does not make any sense. The thing is, if the record is not there in the internal table, system will simply throw the exception. And this is the exception which we always see. Now, in that case, how you can avoid the runtime error? You have a thing, line underscore exist, you can check. If this if condition is true, only in that case your logic will execute, else it will not execute. So we did the practical for the same. I showed you how the runtime error is coming, then how we can avoid that runtime error. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.